As the 2021 NFL season draws to an end, we have seen pretty much what every rookie has done so far in the season. In this video today, this is B. Kelly back again with another banger video with an NFL special. I'm going to be taking a look back for the 2021 NFL draft class for the quarterbacks drafted in the first round since that class had a lot of hype surrounding it with those five guys and I'm going to be talking about how they fared this season and giving out grades with how they performed. Before I move on with the video guys, remember to smash that like button and subscribe if you haven't already as we are on the road to 10k. Now let's get into it. The first quarterback I am going to be talking about in today's video was the first quarterback taken in the draft and the number one overall pick to Jacksonville, Trevor Lawrence, the Clemson product. Now he did have some hype heading into the season and even rookie of the year potential and hype surrounding his name and rightfully so you know the number one pick you're expecting him to potentially be the offensive rookie of the year but things did not really go Trevor Lawrence's way as Jacksonville was let's just say not the best team this season nor a stable team as Urban Meyer was their head coach and the Urban Meyer era was very short in Jacksonville and very controversial as not many players really liked him and a lot of people wanted him out during the season. Trevor Lawrence had his fair share of welcome to the NFL moments during the year and it was just not very good for him and he did struggle quite a bit throughout the season which honestly if you're a rookie quarterback on a team that honestly isn't very good, is having a head coaching issue, your chances of having a really stellar season isn't very high in my opinion. In 17 games played in, 17 games started for Jacksonville as a rookie, Trevor Lawrence went 30-14 and 14 as a starter. He completed nearly 60% of his passes, threw for 3,641 yards, 12 touchdowns, and 17 interceptions. If I had to give Trevor Lawrence a grade for his rookie campaign, I'm not going to lie, it's not a very good grade. The highest I feel like you can give him is a C-, minus, with you know everything that was going on with Jacksonville, the organization, the team, the coaching, everything like that. But my grade for Trevor Lawrence in his rookie season is a D+. Plus. But I am expecting him to have a much improved season in year two. On to the next quarterback. We have the second quarterback taken in the draft and the number two overall pick drafted to the Jets from BYU, Zach Wilson. Now, Zach Wilson in his rookie campaign, he played in 13 games and he started in 13 games as he did have a little bit of an injury during the season, but he wasn't out for too long. He went 3-10 as a starting quarterback for the Jets. He completed 56% of his passes, threw for 2,334 yards, 9 touchdowns, and 11 interceptions, while having a total of 4 rushing touchdowns on the ground. It certainly was not the best season we could have seen from Zach Wilson, nor was it the season that many people were expecting to see with Zach Wilson at all. It wasn't the prettiest season at all, and Zach Wilson even had a turnover issue in the beginning of the year, starting off with two touchdowns compared to six interceptions. He would clean it up, however, near the end of the season, as in his last eight games of the year, he would only throw two interceptions as opposed to a total of five touchdowns. If I had to give a grade for Zach Wilson and his season, I would give him a C-. It wasn't the best season, but he did show some potential, and just like Trevor Lawrence, I do expect a better year too, as there's plenty of rookies who do struggle in their first year. With the third quarterback taken in the draft, and the number three overall pick in the 2021 NFL Draft, we have Trey Lance from North Dakota State. Now, Trey Lance, out of every quarterback that was taken in the first round, was the only one that really didn't play that much at all. He started two games, and he played in a total of six for the 49ers, as he was primarily the backup quarterback for Jimmy Garoppolo. In the six games that Trey Lance did play in, he had two starts in which he went 1-1. One one. 
he completed 58% of his passes, threw for 603 yards, two interceptions, while rushing for a total of 168 yards and one touchdown. In my opinion, I feel like you can't really give Trey Lance a grade just because of the sample size. I mean, he was a backup quarterback primarily. He only started in two games. I feel like it's really hard to grade someone for a season if they only started two games. If you had to, I guess you could say a B minus or maybe even a B, but I'm pretty sure a B minus is pretty fair. But in my opinion, I feel like he has to play more for an actual grade. On to the fourth quarterback taken in the draft. We have Ohio State product going to the Chicago Bears, Justin Fields. Now, Justin Fields started the season off as the backup quarterback to Andy Dalton, but he would eventually get the starting job and take his spot. He would play in a total of 12 games, starting in 10 of them, where he posed a 2-8 quarterback record, completed 59% of his passes, threw for 1,870 yards, 7 touchdowns, and 10 interceptions, but on the ground he did have 420 rushing yards and 2 rushing touchdowns, averaging 6 yards a carry. Overall, I thought it was a solid season for Justin Fields. It wasn't exactly the best passing season for Justin Fields, but I thought it was still solid. He did have some inconsistency issues. Sometimes he had some pretty dang big games, and then other times he had some games where he just didn't look right. If I had to give Justin Fields a grade for his rookie campaign, I feel like he's in the range of a C- to a C. With the fifth and final quarterback taken in the first round of the 2021 NFL Draft to the New England Patriots, national champion from Alabama, Mac Jones. Now, Mac Jones was probably set up best for success with the Patriots compared to the other first-round quarterbacks taken in the draft because, well, let's admit it, those other teams taken aren't that good except the 49ers, but even then, Trey Lance wasn't the starting quarterback this season. It was Jimmy Garoppolo. The Bears, not very good. The Jets, not a very good team. The Jags, pretty much a dumpster fire right now. But let's go back to Mac Jones in this season. Mac Jones was the starting quarterback for the Patriots and he even led them to the playoffs, in which they did lose in the wild card game to the Buffalo Bills. And it wasn't a very pretty game either. In 17 games played and 17 games started, he had a 10-7 quarterback record. He completed 68% of his passes, threw for 3,801 yards, 22 touchdowns, and 13 interceptions. In my opinion, he was the best rookie quarterback in the season, and honestly, he was pretty good all around. He did have some games where he wasn't his best, but he also had some games where he looked really good. My grade for Mac Jones in the season is an A-. minus. I thought this was a pretty good season for a rookie quarterback, especially one that started every game and even went to the playoffs. So I think my A- minus grade for Mac Jones is pretty reasonable. Well guys, if you made it this far in the video, remember to smash that like button, turn on those post notifications, and subscribe for more videos. B. Kelly, out.